Hello all, myself Janil. Let us discuss soil classification. This is video part 3. In previous videos, we have learned different classification systems and different theories. Now, let us understand one thing that is group index. So, first of all, group index is given by American Association for Road Transport. That is known as ASTO. ASTO has uh, divided uh, the different subgrades. Subgrade means uh, the layer which is most in most bottom of the roads, right? And according to that strength of that subgrade, the road quality and uh, road upper layers are decided. For that, American standards are showing A1 to A7 different groups. For that grouping, we have to find out group index for any soil. If it is uh, uh, feasible for making a road on that or we have to uh, work upon that and strengthen it for making a road upon that. Uh, to check that, we have to understand the group index. Group index is nothing but a formula given by empirical analysis and uh, from that we uh, find out the group index value and from that value we can decide it further. Let us understand group index then. GI group index has a formula 0.2 F minus 35 plus 0.005 F minus 35 into WL minus 40 plus 0.01 F minus 15 and IP minus 10. So this formula is having three things F, WL and IP. F that is soil fractions passing through ISC of 75 micron. WL our liquid limit and IP that is plasticity index. So if you have three things you can find out group index of any soil. Now this long formula has been shortened with ABCD alphabets. Now A here F minus 35 is known as A. Same with WL minus 40 is known as C. F minus 15 is known as B and IP minus 10 is known as D. Now GI is generally varying between 0 to 20. Now if GI value is very much higher, the quality or the construction material strength will be lower. So if you are having GI 0, it will be very good for construction of road above that. If it is having maximum value, GI is having maximum value, then construction material will be most poor according to ASTO. Maximum value of A and B should be 40 and maximum value of C and D should be 20. So value of A and B cannot go above 40 and C and D cannot go above 20. So this is group index. Let us move forward. Problem number 1. A fine grained soil sample has liquid limit 60% and plastic limit 18%. Classify the soil. Let us solve this. If we write given data here, WL is given as 60%, WP is given as 18%. Now, first of all, to classify this, I have to find out plasticity index, which is known as IP. IP equation is gap of liquid limit and plastic limit. So, liquid limit is 60%, plastic limit is given as 18%. So, 60 minus 18 comes out as 42%, which is plasticity index. Now, I knew plasticity index. Now, it is for fine grained soil. So, I have to go with IPA line IS classification. For that, I have to find out equation of IPA line or plasticity chart equation, which is 0.73 WL minus 20. Putting WL value as 60, I am getting IP as 29.2 percentage. Now, IP A line equation is at 29.2 percentage. Here in this graph, if we see, this line is having value 29.2. So, line is coming like here somewhere. And my IP value is coming out as 42%. So, in this case, IP value is coming out as 
for this we can clearly see that 42 percentage is greater than 29 but 2 percentage for that wl should be checked wl is greater than 60 percentage so if it is above 50 it will be 60 percentage and it will be somewhere here so if we get our point here it must be ch and that is how we can write given soil is ch ch is clay with high plasticity so that's it for this problem let us move to next problem problem 2 the following data is taken from five soil samples so on the site there were five soil samples were taken and now we they want to classify the soil for this we need data so this table is showing ll and pl data so ll when it is 25 pl was 15 45 23 50 25 60 35 80 36 let us solve this for solving this we need to prepare a table as there are five soil samples for that uh, we don't want to uh, create a complex calculation we have to keep it simple that is why we have to prepare a table you can do it individually also here ll and pl values are written according to problem only then i have found out ip that is plasticity index wl minus wp so the gap coming out as 10 percentage 22 percentage 25 percent 25 percent again and 44 percent now i want to find out a line equation value according to previous problem we did same way so a line equation value is coming out as 3.65 18.25 21.9 29.2 and 43.8 what is ip a line equation 0.73 wl minus 20 according to that the values are like this now i have to decide in five all cases if it is coming above or below ipa line so let us uh, talk about first case here a line equation is 3.65 and my ip is 10 so it is clearly above that here a line equation is 18 by 25 and it is 22 so again above 21.9 and 25 ip then it is above 29.2 and the ip value for this case that is 25 so it is below ipa line again 43.8 and 44 that is above here it should be above now moving forward to uh, types of soil so if it is above then it will be a cl again it will be a ci why it is ci because the water uh, liquid limit that is water content at liquid limit that is in between 35 to 50 that is 45 so it will be ci here in the third case it is having water content at liquid limit that is 50 percentage so it is on the edge so i have to take it is as ci or ch it can go in both the cases now liquid limit is 60 percentage and it is going below so i have to use mh or oh and wl is 80 and it is going above so i have to go with ch clay with high plasticity if you do not remember full forms of them cl that is clay with low plasticity ci that is clay with intermediate plasticity ch clay with high plasticity mh silt with high plasticity and oh that is organic soil with high plasticity so that's it for problem 2. Let us move to next problem. So going to problem 3, find out the group index for the soil with percentage passing 75 micron ISU that is 70 percentage. Liquid limit is given as 50 percentage and plastic limit is given as 24 percentage. Now for solution of that given data can be written as F is equal to 70 percentage wl that is 50 percentage and wp that is 24 percentage now we want to find out group index right so we have to find out a b c d a b c d were like this a f minus 35 b f minus 15 c wl minus 40 and d is ip minus 10 
So if WL and IP are provided, putting all the values, I am getting A is 35, B is 55. Now, B cannot be maximum, cannot be greater than 40. So I have to take if B is 55 even, then I have to take B as 40 only because its maximum value is 40. C is coming out as 10 and D is coming out as 60. Others are in range. So A, B, C, D are found out. GI formula can be put. That is 0.2A plus 0.005AC plus 0.01BD. So putting all the values in this equation, I can find out GI as 15.15. Problem 4. Percentage passing from 4.75 mm ISU, that is 64 percentage, and percentage passing from 75 micron ISU, that is 6 percentage. Furthermore, uniformity coefficient, that is Cu 7.5, Cc, that is 2.7. Furthermore, plasticity index is 2.5, and we are told to classify the soil. So, it is very simple problem, but it needs understanding. So, as per IS classification, percentage passing through 75 micron ISU is less than 6 percentage, so which is less than 50 percentage. So, first of all, according to IS classification table, we uh, got the idea that is coarse grain soil is this, because it comes under CGS only. Now, furthermore, in CGS, percentage passing through 4.75 mm ISU that is 64, that is greater than 50. So it comes on top table or soil is, we can say soil is sand, right? Now, if it is sand and having value Cu is greater than 6, that is 7.5 and Cc in range of 1 to 3, that is 2.7. So we knew that from that table, this is case of well graded sand, which is SW. So that's it, it is very much easier, but we remember, we have to remember all the data learned in this chapter. So that's it for this chapter, we will understand more geotechnical engineering in next videos. Thank you.